Welcome back, everybody. Great to have you with us this week in America. Our guest on today's program, Veronica O'Connor, has had many positive experiences as a result of prayer and through her strong, continued faith in God. As her spiritual desire became more intense, she saw a need to write prayer with God, hoping the daily reading and meditation will be life-changing for the readers. Veronica was born in Point Hill, Jamaica, accepting Jesus at the age of 12. She taught at the Point Hill Basic School for 12 years, then teaching an additional two years at the primary school. She immigrated to Toronto, continuing her further education there, switching from teaching to the health field. She presently works as a registered practical nurse. She's the author of a cookbook, Veronica's Caribbean Dishes, and now Prayer with God, Veronica O'Connor. Our guest is with us on This Week in America. Hi, Veronica. Welcome to the program. Yes, Rick. Hi. How are you? Uh, I am I doing observe. fine. I am looking forward to having you on the program. It's such a uh, an important topic and a book so well done. Let's talk yes. about uh, you felt a need to write this book. Talk about what went into the thought process to, to write this book because it's really well done. Yes, yes. Okay, Rick. Um, let me see. First of all, I must give God thanks because um, he has brought me from, if I should use the word conception, until now, um, the green or the, the age of, I would not say right now, but anyhow, it's in my, um, I am now in the fall of my life. So I have always depended on God, and I have always looked forward to um, prior speaking with God. The thing is, I grew up in a Christian family, and my parents, they were solely depended on God for their daily needs. Let me say, I used to hear my mother um, talk to God, and, you know, she used to talk to God just as if God was another person standing right beside her. And she used to have some conversation. She would say, God, uh, what shall I do this evening? Or, you, you know, so I was wondering, sometimes I wonder, where is God? But then as I grew and grew and um, experienced um, my spiritual um, side, I understand that God is everywhere. And... Uh, my life has been, you know, a struggle from the beginning even until now. And I find when I talk to God or I communicate with God and just leave it with Him, then things just work out. There has been always been struggle, but things just work out just the way how I wanted it. And I was doing some deep searching, and one night um, it was like um, some, you know, voice said to me, why not jot down your thoughts and on, you know, prior? And um, I started writing. And since I started, you know, exploring this prior talking to God, well, this is the result of it. I have um, come up with my book, and this is where I am. And the book is so well written, Prayer with God by Veronica O'Connor. Her website yes. is author-veronicaoconnor.com. book is available right. at Stratton Press. It's available at Amazon. Of course, information available directly at Veronica's website. I mentioned yes. in the beginning that you have had strong, continued faith in God. And you mentioned the struggles you went through. Were there ever periods of doubt there? And I ask that because so often when things get difficult... It's pretty easy to start questioning your, your belief in God. You, you think you're asking for something, you think you're doing the right thing, and things don't necessarily yes. fall in line for you. How do you, work, right. how do you work through those struggles? You see, um, the thing about it is um, when I, I, I've, I have encountered all these difficult times and so, um, I, just, I just talk to God. Sometimes I talk to him verbally. Sometimes it's non-verbal because, I mean, I commune with him with my spirit, and I just leave it there. And yes, there are doubts. A lot of time there are doubts in my mind whether um, my prayer 
um, will be answered or whether I will receive the result that I am um, looking forward to. But why the thing is my faith, my faith. I always believe that whatever he does, it will be, right, will be the right thing. So I just talk to him, whether verbally, as I say, or non-verbally, and I just leave it there. And I often find out that even though there are doubts, when I forget about the doubts, then further down the line, I find that things just work out for me. And oftentimes I can smile and say, God, you really did come through um, for me. Sometimes it is not the, within the time frame that I expected it, but further down the line, I see where it works out. So oftentimes, when the doubt comes to me, I just try to dismiss it. And after I try to dismiss it, then further down the line, I find out that it works out, whether within my favor or if it is not within my favor, I know that he did really, he did really intervene. And I just accept the result as is. But oftentimes, he came forward for me. You know, it's so interesting. You talk in the book, as you mentioned just before, that this actually started at a very young age. You were like four years old when you hear your mother and you start doing the prayers every night, reciting the prayers before you went to bed. And you said... Respect for prayers instilled in me quite early, simply talking to God and expecting him to listen to our request. And so often yes. expectations maybe get in the way. You're not saying you expect him to do what you're praying for. You just expect him to listen to what your request is. That's an important distinction, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. Because as I say, um, from the early age, then, you know, prayer were, were instilled in us. And then um, we used to just, um, recite the prayer, just recite as a means of formality. But, you know, sometimes when reflecting, I mean, we think that, yes, God will really answer, you know, but the point is, after we say whether it's within, whether it's just reciting or not, but we just leave it there. We just leave it there. Yes, sometimes we expect that he will come through, and another time we forget about it. But, the, the, I mean, we, we, have, um, we have cultured that, that um, we have cultured that aspect of prayer. And we just do it because we, it's cultured in us. And then after now we started realizing that, of course, it's not just a cultural thing or not just a formality, but then, you know, it's yes. really because this, um, we were really born to worship, and um, then it is within us to really speak to our, our spiritual, communicate spiritually, because we have a spiritual side and we have a physical side. So, you know, we um, try to um, correlate our spiritual right. side with our physical side. Veronica O'Connor, our guest on the program, author of the book, Prayer with God. Books available at uh, the usual places, stratton-press.com is the website. You can get information on the book. Information directly by going to Veronica's website, which is author uh, Veronica O'Connor.com. If you go to our website yeah. this weekend, America.us, you can link on directly to Veronica's website and get information on her and the book as well. You talk about prayer was the most powerful channel of communication. And I want to yeah. talk about the communication aspect of it. You talk in the book, and I sort of smile as, as I'm reading it because we all go through this as young people. Sometimes we never get out of that. Where prayer at that time for you was simple and re ritualistic. You knelt, hands yeah. clasped, eyes closed, you recited a prayer hastily. Some people right. still do that, and you, you talk about how often do you engage in quality communication with the Lord God. Talk about yeah. that. Talk about making it actual communication, not just words you're saying that you've got memorized that you've said for 40 years, but actually. Right. Yes. So as I say, um, as I say 
prior is the most powerful, uh, you know, weapon, right? So um, now that we have, uh, um, now that we have uh, cultured the spiritual side of us and grow up and be more wise and be more intense in our prayer, we realize that it is really like a weapon in our hands because we fight again, uh, um, again, principalities and power. There are powers in the world that, I mean, we are constantly fighting against, constantly fighting against. And there are times when, um, when the powers of this world um, comes, face us, and at that time, our spiritual side it, 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 it's just like it, it just stand up as a as a weapon and just to call on the name of god lord here is this problem before us i am asking you please to take charge please to take charge sometimes you don't even have to tell god what to do just remind him that this this problem just comes before you and after reminding him, sometimes immediately, it's just like a bullet, just turn, I mean, change the problem, change the problem. And then at that time, we see the result and we see really the God who we serve. So that's the reason why I say it's, like, it's the most powerful um, weapon because um, we, we as Christians, we, we don't use guns and knives and um, physical ammunition, but prior, prior, we use prior as an ammunition, right? And yes. that is what we take to counteract our enemy when the enemy comes before us, like a, the, the scripture would say, like a roaring lion. Um, the Word of God. That's the reason why we need to study the Word of God and we use it as a weapon, right, to counteract the enemy. One of the questions that, that you answer in the book, Prayer with God by Veronica O'Connor, our guest on This Week in America, is when you should pray. And you've got a, a question there that's a, it's a very interesting one. You sort of stop after you read this. Prayer should be used as the first approach to every situation in life, not as a last yes. resort. Prayer is a virtual weapon in the hands of all believers. Do you find that too often we really don't pray until we're almost to the point of desperation? That's it. That's it. And my reason for saying that, it's, um, you know, there are some people who, you know, just use prayer whenever they fall into situation wherein they are unable to help themselves or to come out of it, right? Yes. But, I mean, when you, when, when, when you are, when you daily communicate with God, it's like, um, it's one scripture say it's like um, prior, it's like a um, built up within a vial, and the time when you need it, it just poured out. It just poured out. The, the, the. So, my reason for saying that is not just to pray whenever you are in dire situation, but pray constantly. Pray constantly. And as I say, ver it can be verbal or it can be nonverbal. So when you keep, when one keeps your mind in tune, and every now and then you reflect on God. Every now and then. You, you, you just say a word. You just talk to, to God. Because as I say, um, prayer is really communication, right? Yes. So every now and then you commune with your God and Master and keep the spiritual side alive, alive. So you pray, yes, um, whenever um, you find it, one at one point you pray whenever you find it fit um, the best opportunity like you can do it in the morning and in the night but I mean the best thing is to just 
keep communicating, keep communicating, keep that flow of conversation going, whether you do it verbally or non-verbally. Just keep it open. Keep the channel open. And that's what I mean. Well, and that's what you're leading us to in, in the book, Prayer with God. A couple minutes left in the program, going by too quickly. You've got, at the end of the book, some personalized individual prayers. So if you're going through... I really don't know how to say what it is I, I want for this particular, I'm asking for guidance I'm asking for in this particular set of circumstances. You sort of have some, have us covered there in the back of the book, don't you? You can get us guidance so we can open that line of communication. Yes. Yes, because at, um, at the back of the book, as I say, um, you talk to God about anything, yes. any and everything. It's like having a friend, and uh, um, a very dear friend. And sometimes, sometimes on the phone, you just call up your friend and you just talk about it, anything, anything, because it's your dear friend. So it doesn't have to be something specific. You just call and you just talk. It's the same way with God. You are in the bathroom. I mean, God give you that ability to go in your bathroom and, I mean, get rid of all those junk that you have put inside of your system, right? Yes. You're around the bathroom, you just say a prayer. Thank God that you have the opportunity to get rid of, you know, those junk. Yes. If I should use that word. <laughs> that or, works. Yes. Yes, yes. Or sometime you are driving on the, on the street there, believe you me, um, you, the, they talk about defensive driving. Sometimes you have to drive for yourself. You have to drive for the others. Sometimes you don't know the other person might be on the wrong side. And you just missed an accident on, on, on the road. Some, so you just say, thank God. Thank God. You, I mean, you miss that. Or even dealing with your kids. Sometimes you have problem with your kids. And, I mean... Sometimes you don't even know how to solve the problem. You just say, God, I just put them into your hands. So it's just talking, just talking, talking, talking about anything with God. And he is there. He is always listening. Sometimes you don't get the answer immediately, as I stated in my book. Sometimes it's way down the line, further down the line, you receive an answer. But the point is communicating with God, communicating, prior, prior, prior. It's a daily thing, and it's, you need to keep it, keep that line of communication open. And um, I find that, is, that really works for me. Yes, we got about a minute left in the program. One review said, the book is small enough to put in my handbag. The contents yes. can be used as daily bread. That has to be like the ultimate compliment, isn't it? Because that, I'm sure, is is how you design this. Something that's very yes. easy to transport and can be used on an ongoing basis. Right, right. Yes, because it is so small and it's like, you know, a daily bread, as I say. You put it in your handbag and sometimes um, you can just, you're on the bus, you're in the doctor's office, you're... Uh, um, on your break or somewhere, you just pull it out and just um, for, read one of the prior at the back because there are quite a few priors at the back or quite a few scripture verses at the back that, um, that talks about prior. So you just pull it out and read whichever one um, is uh, um, fitting to your yes. situation and you just meditate on the Word of God. Just meditate on the Word of God. Veronica O'Connor, our guest in the program. I mentioned her other books, Veronica Caribbean Dishes. You'll get information at the website as well. And, and working on an auto uh, bi autobiography. How are you coming with that? Yes, yes. I am now working on my autobiography. And I have um, gone a far way. But, you know, it is still an ongoing process. So um, as soon as I sees it fit to publish, then, you know, I will go ahead and doing so. But really, I have gone a good way because there are a lot of, um, lot of um, encounters 
from my conception until now, which I think it would be best for, you know, a person reading it would um, attest it to their situation and say, hmm, yes. I'm not the only person <laughs> going through this. Well, I'm looking, huh? I'm looking forward to that, so keep us posted on the... Uh, the progress you're making with that, and the book we're talking about specifically today is Prayer with God. Prayer with God. Uh, Prayer with yes. God. Veronica O'Connor is our guest on the program. Her website is very simple, author-veronicaoconnor.com. The book's available. Yes. You can get information on the website there as well at Stratton Press Information. On our website, thisweekinamerica.us, if you go to that log on, you can link on directly to Veronica's website. Veronica, it's been a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you so much for being with us. Keep us posted on the uh, the latest book and uh, look forward to talking with you again. Thank you for being with us. Yes, Rick, I appreciate your time also, and I thank you for having me on your program, and I look forward to talking to you sometime again, and I hope um, others will go to the website and read about my book and see how it um helps them in their spiritual journey. On a daily basis, the book is Prayer with God, Veronica O'Connor. Click on directly by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. And we're back on today's program after these messages. <laughs> 